All right, it's Rob here. I'm going to show you quickly how to get into the advanced setting menu of the 230S, basically to change the gyro settings. Everything is, I'm going to plug in now. Throttle hold is on. Now you're going to hold the two sticks to the right corner and hold the bind button. The swash will jiggle. You just saw that. Now you're going to come down here and you're going to rotate your, till you see the screens. Each screen will tell you different things. This screen, the H and the zero and the numbers represent my gyro. I'm in the gyro advanced settings menu now to move to say we want to change the tail. The number of the tail is number five. We'll come over here to the right until it changes to number five. You can also, that's flight log. On the telemetry screen, it'll just show you the number at the bottom here. It will not show you the actual value. The value is found in the flight log. In number five, right now, the number that's blinking, 96, represents my tail gain. Default is 100, so I'm, a, I'm just a hair under right now. To change that, you would simply move this up or down. 96, number 5. Once that's set and you're set, then you make sure your throttle is all the way to the bottom, and you simply hold the bind button, watch the swash, it'll jiggle. Now you're ready to go out and test. You don't even have to unplug and reset. You're ready to go out and test that value. You could, so I've done this several times where I may land, I may hover and fly five or six times before I finally get it right. No need to unhook and reset. You're ready to go. It's been saved. This is my short video on how to enter the advanced setting menu for the 230S gyro settings. Thank you.